Hi guys, it's Alex, your module leader for the marketing module. We're going to be going through the module handbook today. So as you can see, this module is 20 credits. We are starting on the 3rd of February and finishing on the 12th of May. The submission date for this module is also the 12th of May. And then feedback will be returned to you within 20 working days, which works out at the 12th of June. So as I've said, I'm your module leader and this document is available in Welsh if you need it. So please let me know if you do. So this module of marketing, we will aim to place advertising within a broader context of marketing strategy. We aim to consider advertising from the advertiser's perspective. Explore the range of functional relationships within the process of market research and business strategy, advertising strategy and advertising design. Develop your research and critical thinking skills, particularly those involved in the development of marketing and advertising strategy. And liaise directly with people outside of your specialist subject and communicate appropriately and professionally within this new environment. So to summarise the content of the marketing module, advertising agencies produce creative work that translates the messages of marketing departments across to consumers and customers. Within larger advertising agencies, the account handler supports this process by providing someone who can liaise directly with clients and then develop briefs for the creative department. Many organisations don't use agencies at all but manage advertising in-house often within their marketing departments. They need skills and understanding in all aspects of the advertising process. This module therefore aims to introduce you to the fundamental principles and processes of marketing and see how advertising fits into activity that includes promotion, product development, sales, retail and pricing. This module will be delivered through a series of lectures, seminars and appropriate case studies to provide you with a foundation of knowledge and understanding that you can then develop further in future modules and ultimately in employment. This module provides a broad introduction to the principles and processes of marketing and to the range of functional roles within the typical marketing organisations. Content will be delivered through lectures and seminars and several appropriate case studies particular emphasis will be placed on supporting advertising students with the appropriate vocabulary and understanding required to communicate effectively with business and marketing organisations in the future. So we have two learning outcomes. The first is to analyse marketing strategies and propose refinements or alternatives where relevant. And the second is to understand and evaluate marketing and advertising strategies to specific business and public sector situations. So now we come to the brief. So you will need to produce an in-depth analysis of an organisation of your choice, considering their marketing strategies, where they sit within the wider marketplace, using the marketing vocabulary and fundamental models that you will learn through your lectures. You will then create your own marketing plan based on the SOSTAC framework, followed by a creative marketing campaign. These outcomes should be based on your initial research. Don't worry too much yet about the specifics like SOSTAC because we will be going into that in depth. Um, but yes, so your challenge is to keep the brand, audience and product or service in mind and justify your choices throughout. You will need to explain the tone of voice and how your campaign will reach target audience or audiences. And you may choose your own organisation, but this needs to be agreed with me, the module leader. So the specifics of target audience, you will need to analyse your organisation's existing target audiences and identify any new audiences or markets that may be available to them. This is part of your research and analysis um, and will influence your subsequent plan and campaign. The tone of voice will be decided on based on the target audience and the chosen brand. 
So you will need to indicate your tone, why you've chosen this tone and how we will help you to achieve your objectives and reach your audience. This will then underpin all of the communications throughout your creative campaign. So now we have the assessment points. We have both the formative and summative assessments, which I will go through now. Um, the formative assessment will be at the six week point. So you will need to show at least five pages of in-depth research into your chosen organisation looking at all of the things that we set out in the brief just now, as well as five initial design ideas for the creative marketing campaign. These do not need to be finished ideas because the initial ideas that you show me in your formative assessment will then be developed throughout the remaining six weeks. So then we have the summative assessment. So this is for the um, final deadline. You need to complete an in-depth situation analysis of your chosen organisation, looking at who are they, what do they do, who are their competitors and who is their consumer. You need to explore the organisation's marketing activities currently, so how does their marketing activity represent and reflect the brand values. You will need to review their marketing mix so this research will then inform your own marketing plan and creative campaign. The marketing plan will follow the SOSTAC framework and then you will need to identify the target audience, create your own customer persona or personas for your campaign and look at how you're going to engage new and or existing customers. You need to explain how your media choice and tone of voice will help convince existing and new audiences to engage with your brand and obviously the creative direction and creative outcomes for your campaign. So will you be sticking to the organisation's existing visuals and visual guidelines or can you deviate from these in a sympathetic way or would it cause a catastrophe for the organisation if you deviated? These are all things you need to consider, but we will look at everything more in depth throughout the next 12 weeks. You will then need to create at least five elements of an integrated marketing campaign and consider the use of social media and new emerging technology. All choices should be justified and backed by research, which should be referenced using the USW Harvard referencing. I've signposted you to this before, but just to remind you, USW has a Harvard referencing guide up on Unilife. It's a really good resource. You can download the PDF format and use it to um, inform your referencing. Now we have the scheme of work. So I will be seeing you every Friday, 1 till 4 p.m. in CAD 302. For the first week, I would like for you to obviously prepare and view this video on Blackboard um, just familiarise yourself with the brief. So then in session we can unpack the brief, have an initial introduction into the brief and what is marketing. Week two we will be looking at marketing fundamentals and we'll have an initial discussion on your ideas. And then week three ahead of our session I want you to prepare a, a pitch for your chosen organisation where you'll be pitching to me and I will then sign off your choice. We will, in week four, be looking at marketing plans and you will be creating your personas. Week five, we will be looking at campaign planning. And then week six is the formative assessment point. So if you go back to the assessment criteria, you will see that um, you need five pages of research and developed um, initial design ideas so just make sure that you have that ahead of our formative session. Week 7 we'll be reviewing the work in progress and you'll be creating your own critical path. Week 8 we'll be looking at case studies as well as week 9 and then it would be next steps for hand in and studio sessions to complete work. Now I've included my email here again just so you have it if you want to book a tutorial or speak to me for any additional support, I am available. 
and then we come to week 12, the submission date. All of this is subject to change, um, but I will always get in contact with you if there are any issues with our session. Here's the assessment item checklist. So the formative feedback will be at week six and then the summative assessment will be at week 12. Week six, I would like to see five pages of research into your chosen organisation and five initial design ideas. And then week 12 is obviously the brief that we have just gone through. This will be a PDF format via digital submission on Blackboard. So now we have come to the summative assessment grading criteria. So this is what we use to mark your work. Um, as always, you will be assessed um, based on research, analysis, development and outcome. So please make sure that you adhere to each of these four stages. It's not good enough just to submit a really good outcome because we need to see development, risk taking, experimentation and idea generation as well as the importance of research and analysis. I would recommend you take a look through this in your own time. I won't read through all of it. Here we have the reading list for this module. These are all available to you either in the library or online through Find It. So please check them out. I would recommend the Digital Marketing Book by Chafee. Really good resource, especially if you are interested in a career in marketing. And then just to remind you, we have the assessment criteria definitions here of research, analysis, development and outcome. So you will be expected to undertake exploratory and dynamic research, working independently or with others, that demonstrate an in initiative and critical reflection in the process of conducting primary and secondary research. You will also be expected to demonstrate an understanding of issues and debates raised in this module. You will need to produce creative solutions that show evidence of risk, ambition and originality. And then you will be expected to engage with the issues and debates raised and attend all timetable sessions. That is a really important one as we come to feedback. I will be giving you feedback throughout the module. So it's not just enough to come to the formative feedback session. I would like you to attend every session and if there's an issue please email me ahead of the session. Um, it's really important that you get feedback throughout not just at the end because feedback throughout is actually actionable and you can you know as it says here it's a positive thing and it's designed to help you and improve your learning. So the formative assessment is assessment for learning so it's not about marking your work it's about me giving you feedback against the brief and it's a really good opportunity to then act on the feedback ahead of submission. That's why it's at the six week mark so you have another six weeks to work on your feedback. Then the summative assessment is assessment of learning so this is evaluating the work that you have then submitted. As I've just said Attendance and engagement is really important, so please come to the sessions and engage with the learning materials. There's a direct connection between students who consistently engage and attend and those who score highly. So it's really important and it sets you up for employment. Presenting your work is um, important. Definitely take pride in the pre presentation of your work and Ultimately, if you do not present the work, you will um, potentially not pass the module. Here we come to late submission, extenuating circumstances. I'm sure you're all aware of this by now, but work received late, um, but within five working days, can receive a maximum of the 40% pass mark, unless you have um, previously arranged something with Advice Zone or your course leader, module leader. All work received after five days will be awarded zero unless extenuating circumstances have been applied for and approved. Please go to the student advice zone if you need any advice prior to the deadline or you need to apply for extenuating circumstances. 
there is a lot of information here on reset, resets, so if you do fail the module, there is a potential for you to reset in the summer term. If you have any concerns, it goes without saying, please approach me or your module um, leader and course leader. But firstly, you should go to the course representative. They will then escalate your issues. Please also refer to the course handbook. And as always, you're given several chances to evaluate your experiences. And this is through the loop. So please always engage with the loop. You are expected to take great care in the presentation of your work. It is a skill, so be professional. And please make sure that all work submitted is original and is your own. Plagiarism is handled under the strictest of university protocols and can result in the withdrawal from the institution. So as I've said previously, please check out the USW Harvard Referencing Guide to avoid that. And that's it then, we have the feedback sheet at the end. Um, I'm looking forward to getting started and seeing you all next week um, and thank you for watching.